Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing day six in the study Enough by Sharon James. The title on today's study is I am is what fills in your blanks. That's not technically how it says it, but that's how it makes sense to me. So we're going with it. <laughs> I'm going to start by reading the beginning of the study. I am fills in your blanks. I'm not blank enough. You can fill in that blank with smart, talented, gifted, spiritual, outgoing, attractive, or any number of positive attributes. But the root source of each one of those blanks is rooted in, I'm not good enough. Period. It's one of the enemy's favorite deceptions to hold God's children hostage to a life that is less than. I'm not good enough is an insidious lie that keeps God's best at bay. For many of his children. The enemy tries to get us to focus on our flaws rather than our faith. When we focus on our faults, we take our focus off God, who equips us with the Holy Spirit, who empowers us, and Jesus, who envelops us. The Bible does say no one is good enough to earn his or her way into heaven. Romans, Romans 3.23 says... For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. And all are justified freely by his grace through the redemption that came by Christ Jesus. Salvation is a gift from God. Ephesians, Ephesians 2 8 says, For it is by grace you have been saved through faith, and it is not from yourselves, it is the gift of God. However, many have taken the truth that they are not good enough to earn their way to heaven and transferred it to, I'm not good enough, period. But through the finished work of Jesus Christ on the cross and his power working in you and through you, you are good enough to do everything God has called you to do and be. She continues on and says, Giving into the lie of I'm not good enough will paralyze you. It is the coward's way out. I might have just hurt your feelings, but listen, I'm talking to myself too. Courage and confidence follow obedience. I can't tell you how many times I've heard the words I'm not good enough screaming in my head. But when I step out in obedience and do what God has called me to do regardless, the power of the Holy Spirit overpowers the lies of the enemy. One of the most important names for God is... Yahweh, or I am. When we say, I am not good enough, God says, I am. When we say, I'm not strong enough, God says, I am. He is the God who fills, he is the God who fills in our blanks. Once we let go of the lies that we are not enough and take hold of the truth, we are more than enough because of Jesus' presence and power in us. Then we will be set free of the mealy mouth mentality and be on our way to experiencing the courageous confidence of an overcomer. What blanks do you need to let the great I am fill in your life? The key reference of this study is Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So the devil's biggest fear is what you can accomplish in the name of Jesus if you believe in yourself and you believe in the power of God. He uses the lies, I'm not good enough, I'm not strong enough, I'm not pretty enough, um, I'm not smart enough to keep us from realizing our true potential. He knows that that's a strategy that works and he's gonna to continue to use that tactic. You'll be amazed at how God can use you if you just give him the chance to work in your life. Just in the last year, I've experienced this in my own life. It's a really awesome experience whenever God uses you and works through you. Throughout that experience in my life, it has grown me closer to God and grown my faith in him. So ask God for the confidence to do his work and then ask him what he wants you to do. And I believe with my whole heart that you will know when God puts something in your path. The more you step out in faith and the more you get out of your comfort zone, the more you give God the opportunity to show up and show off. And believe me, he will. The Holy Spirit will always triumph over the enemy. That's all for today, guys. We hope you got something out of this Bible study with us. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next one. And don't forget to shine. Bye. Bye.